hey buddy, uh, I need to talk to you. Um, uh, you're not getting any younger. You're, you're getting older and you're, you're, uh, uh, you're growing up. And uh, um, so I'm a little concerned um, for your safety out there. It's a big world, it's a mean world. And, um, and uh, so I feel like I have to have this talk with you. I, uh, it might be a little weird to talk to me about it right now, but um, in the long run, you're going to thank me. Uh, um, I want to make sure you're protected. I, I know, I know, I know it's weird for you to talk to your dad about this kind of stuff, but I need to know in my mind that you're protected out there. Uh, it's, a, it's a bad world, and, um, and so I, I, I want you to have this. Um, keep it with you at all times. Keep it on. Uh, if you need somebody to talk to, you, you can come to talk to me anytime you want. I, I love you, buddy. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, the other day, I almost dropped my Z7. I was on a photo shoot for graduation, and um, I have one of those belts that you can clip it on. I had both my Z6 and my Z7, and I was juggling uh, so I wouldn't have to change lenses, you know? So I'd put the Z7 in my belt and bring out the Z6 and back and forth, and and I almost dropped. I mean, I fumbled, and it's like, oh. So uh, it got me thinking, you know, I bought that belt to make things secure, but but I still got slippery hands, you know? So um, it got me thinking, how can I protect my investment? These cameras are already a few months old and they still look in pristine condition and I'm trying to keep them that way. So I, uh, of course, came to YouTube and did a little research and, and um, found these little guys, these little rubber protectors. And um, they're by uh, a company called Easy Cover. At least that's the ones I found reviews on. Uh, I think there's a couple other companies out there that make these. Um, but I, I bought one for my Z6 and my Z7. So anyways, I just wanted to show you what they're about and um, tell you the pros and cons, uh, well, how I feel about them, and um, show you a mismanufactured uh, item on it too. So let's zoom in and check it out. So it comes in this clear package. I'm not going to open this one. This is going to be for my uh, Z6 or a spare. Um, usually my Z6 sits in a cage. Um, but yeah, when I do um, uh, another shoot like I did, I'll be putting in this. So anyways, I got the one out for my Z7 out of the box. And um, it's, a, it's a neoprene rubber. It's about... Uh, an eighth inch thick in most spots There's some thinner spots here and there um, The button layout is is identical to what it is on the camera on the back side and the front side and And it fits pretty darn it fits pretty darn good. So let's just uh, let's go ahead and put it on uh, Look at how filthy my screen is um, So what you want to do is put the grip side on first because that's the bulkier side so we're just going to kind of slide that over the back by the buttons. And then I'm going to bring it forward over the grip. And this may be looking more difficult than it actually is. But that's because I'm trying to give you the best view on the camera. And I turned my camera on. Okay. So um, once you get that done, then uh, which is again the the hardest part, then it's just the simple simple as bringing over the um, eye protector, you know, the part that goes around the EVF, and then um, the two side, the the other side, like that, and then up top, which I thought was pretty neat, it. Uh, in your in your hot shoe this has a little um, hot shoe rubber plate so you can kind of just slide it in there and that locks the whole thing on and you can see and I chose black by the way 
uh, they make a red one, they make a camouflage one. I think they had a yellow one. Um, I, I like to be stealthy. I don't want my camera gear sticking out like a sore thumb everywhere I go. Maybe if I was shooting birds, um, you know how they have the lenses that have the camouflage on them, maybe I would pick the camouflage one. But I, re I really like the black one. So um, the first thing that I noticed when I was putting this on is that right here where the um, EVS uh, diopter is, uh, you have to really tuck it under there. It's a pretty firm uh, tuck underneath that. <clears throat> and then uh, after closer examination, uh, there's the microphone or the uh, speaker hole so you can hear the, your video playback. And there's one microphone on that side. And when I flipped it over to look for the other microphone, uh, there's no hole for the stereo microphone on the other side. Now, is that a deal killer? No, because I can just take a little knife and cut it out. Um, it's no big deal. Over here on your um, panel side where you can plug in things, um, it's just a little flappy kind of rubbery flap so you could open these up and still get to them. Still plug things in with no issue. I don't, I haven't used them yet so I don't know. I just bought it for the, for the photography side of things not the video side of things. Uh, down here, the battery door opens up just fine. You can still get to your batteries just fine. No problem there. Um, here, if you if you notice, there's a little hole on the base of the camera in front or in back of the quarter 20 for mounting. And sometimes plates come with a little... A pin that can go in that hole to lock your plate there. So um, you're kind of missing that too But again, you know if you just if you needed that hole to be there You would cut it cut this rubber out. It's just neoprem or, or whatever they call this kind of rubber. It's, it's very soft um, I noticed that it does pick up lint pretty pretty easily um, But you could just put it under soapy water and wash it if it becomes dirty But all the buttons still seem to work when I turn the camera on I can Still get to all my buttons with a simple press. It's not, um, oh, which by the way, look at what firmware I have. Ooh, firmware version two on a Z7. <laughs> um, so yeah, all the buttons still seem to work. The play button, the, the, um, the um, back button, the menu buttons, all the buttons, the information button. And, and I like how some of the buttons are half covered. So like the up, down, left, right has this little half cover on it. And then so does the, uh, so does the um, jog wheel in the front and the back. Still can get to the ISO and uh, the record button. So just a short video I wanted to show you. I, I was a little impressed with it, but then a little disappointed. Um, in their quality control for not putting the other microphone uh, hole on this side and maybe not putting that hole on the bottom but other than that I'm, I'm really happy with it. it it really fits like a glove and uh, so we'll have to test it over the next few uh, months in the summer in the hot sun to see if it disforms see if any of this stuff um, breaks um, from you know sliding around in my bag and stuff but um, I'll be keeping my, my Z6 and my Z7 very well protected now. And I feel a little more secure having the rubber, the rubber on there. So all in all, I'm happy with my purchase. Um, to protect my investment for 20 or $24, I think I paid $24.99 a piece. Uh, I got them from Adorama.com because um, Easy Covers is in Europe. Uh, got, I ordered them on uh, Adorama.com and they were here in two days uh, with free shipping. So, uh, and like I said, they have them for every every camera available uh, that I could uh, see, anyways. So, I hope you like this video. 
Uh, if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. For future videos, hit the bell button, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. I love you, buddy.